Hello, and welcome back to Intentional Living. I am your host, Shannon Moore, and today I'll be coming to you with another decanter and wine glass set. Super excited to get this project started. If you're interested, please hang tight. You can choose two wine glasses of your choice. These two glasses came from Ikea. They came in a pack of two and they were on sale for $2.99. So can't beat that. I'm also using an 1800 750 milliliter bottle. You can choose the bottle that you prefer to use as your decanter. I started off by washing all of my glass pieces in water and dish soap and then I used alcohol and a Brillo pad to scrub off the goo from the label that was on the 1800 bottle. This template I got off of Microsoft Word 365. I printed it in three different sizes so that I could use the biggest one for my decanter and the middle size one for the glasses. After figuring out the placement of my liking for my crown template on my glass bottle, I went in with some painter's tape, attached it to the back of my crown, and then attached that to my decanter piece. I went in with a regular Crayola marker and I outlined my crown template onto my bottle. Using my acrylic paint that I got from Walmart, the color is Pink Honeysuckle, I'm going to just use the tip of my brush and outline the entire template that I just drew on my bottom. While outlining my template, there were certain areas where I was using just a little bit too much paint, so I just pulled that down the bottom of my bottle. After I was done outlining my template, I went in with more of the Honeysuckle Pink Acrylic Paint and filled in the bottom of my bottle.
I set my decanter to the side to dry and then I used the medium sized temple that I printed off which is smaller than the one that I used on my decanter and I took my time to place it on the inside of the glass. You can do this on the outside of the glass like we did the decanter um, but I just went on the inside. And here I'm just repeating the exact same process that I did on my decanter to both of my glasses. When painting the bottom of your glass, it's easiest to flip it upside down and paint the bottom that way. Excuse my son, he's a hot, goofy mess. Now that all three of my pieces are set to the side to dry, I'm gonna go ahead in and decorate the lid of my decanter. It's already silver, which I'm going for a silver and pink so I could leave it like it is, but I love glitter. So I'm gonna go in with my Mod Podge, make sure that my top is completely covered in Mod Podge, and then add a nice coat of glitter on top of that. If you choose to use the 1800 bottle, there is a small lip on the bottom half of the top. So make sure that you cover that as well so that it's a nice even flow. Now that my acrylic paint has dried on all three of my pieces, I'm gonna go in with a Mod Podge and pink glitter mixture so that my crown can have some sparkle. Now I wanted it to be a lot of a sparkle, but not to overtake the pink background, so I added a lot of glitter into my Mod Podge. I mixed it all together, and then I gave my decanter and wine glasses a nice even stroke, only on the areas where I have already painted pink.
Once I've got a nice even coat of my Mod Podge and glitter mixture on the glass, I'm gonna sit it to the side and allow it time to dry. Going in with my silver metallic paint pen, I'm going to be outlining the template that I drew on my glass. Sorry for the distraction you guys, my husband came home and we were all very happy to see him. These paint pens have a sharp point, so make sure that that is what you are using when you are outlining your design. If you're someone that is super particular about lines being straight, then I would suggest finding a different way of doing the back end of your glass. I just eyeballed mine. So the line is not perfectly straight, but it's good enough for what I was going for. So I'm happy with it. What I did not show you was that I painted the bottom of my wine glasses and after that dried I went in with the Mod Podge and glitter mixture and painted that on that as well. I brushed the Mod Podge and glitter mixture on top of the crown template that I painted on earlier. I've given it time to dry and now I'm going to be adding the acrylic pen to my decanter. I would suggest adding the acrylic pen to the decanter and to the glasses after you have did the acrylic paint and after you've done the Mod Podge and Glitter mixture. So now that that is all set, now the fun begins. It's time to decorate. Be creative, tap into your innovation, and have fun with it. If you plan on keeping anything cold in this decanter or in the wine glasses, I suggest that you use a fix-all glue and a hot glue gun when doing this project. One thing that I have learned with having decanters, sometimes I put something in them like wine that I want to keep cold. And once it gets cold, the hot glue does not adhere very well. So it's important to add the fix-all glue first and then the hot glue to your gems to attach to your decanter so that it will have an everlasting hold.
Going in with my flat back gems, I added the biggest gems to the corners and to the middle of my design on the bottom. I used the medium sized gems to fill in the sides next to that. And then I used the smallest gems available in the pack on the very ends. And that is it you guys, this is what I came up with. I love how everything flows together and I love being able to see the shimmer and shine in the pink acrylic paint. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share me with family and friends. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and I can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, God is love, good night.